Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a new device from Asmodus. This is the Minikin 3S. Yes, this is the Minikin 3S from Asmodus. This is a um, dual 18650 device. Rubberized finish, carbon fiber. This is the kit that comes with the Viento tank. Fingerprint sensor. You can lock the device and use your fingerprint to unlock it. So let's dive right down, take a look at it up close, and I'll tell you my thoughts on this device. Okay, so today we're taking a look at the Asmodus Minikin 3S kit. Uh, comes in a really nice box. Let's move the device aside for a moment just to show you the, the box and everything that comes with it. It would help if I turn it the right way. You do have all your specs and uh, a lot of information on the back there listing all the features. Nice packaging, obviously you can see. You will get all your manuals, you will get extra O-rings for the tank, the Viento tank that comes with it. Uh, you will get this, which comes like this, with an extra coil in it. Uh, you will get your micro USB charging cable, and everything comes in this nice box. Let's go ahead and move this all to the side for the moment, and show you the Minikin 3S. Let's zoom in a little bit more, and you can see here, it has this nice rubberized finish to it, which I always love. I love the feel of that. Uh, it's just really nice. Obviously, uh, vape juice will show up clearly on there, but it's very easy to wipe down with a tissue. You don't even need uh, something wet to clean it off. So very easy to clean. you got this motor symbol there. You have your uh, carbon fiber wrap around here, micro USB charging port, fire button and fingerprint sensor, your screen, and your batteries go in the bottom. Battery door pops out. Uh, positive, minus, pop them in, close the door, no problems with that door, fits perfectly flush, very well made, right to the, you know, fits perfect there, beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, and we're on. Now, I have the fingerprint in he uh, sensor on on here at the moment, so, uh, first thing it says though, batteries, married batteries without damage only. Let's see what happens if you say no. Turns off. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. <laughs> it doesn't want to come back on. Let's go ahead and pop those batteries out. And that's not something wrong. That's because you said those are not married batteries. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. And now it'll work if we say, yes, they are safe, good married batteries. Now it says, do you want to use the password or the fingerprint to unlock it? If you don't have that feature on, you won't see that. I have it on, so I'm going to say fingerprint. And then I put my fingerprint on there. And it lets me write in. Um, has been working very well. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to that area of the menu. Uh, but I have had no problems with the fingerprint sensor whatsoever. That's why I have it on in order to test it. And, uh, you know, I'm changing batteries probably twice a day on this because I've been using this a lot. Um, and using the fingerprint sensor to unlock it. And no problems. I have had times where I put my finger, it doesn't see it. And the second time it does. Uh, and that happens. I have been even on phones and other devices. So anyway, let's go back up on here. Now, standard... Uh, as modus menu as of late um, you can see it's firing we can swipe down we can touch the wattage and go up and down on our wattage lock that in you can swipe towards the top to go from power to temp to curve TCR TFR back to power you can swipe down again and as you see in the bottom left there it says N for normal soft hard so you can change that there you do have your symbols telling you uh, it is unlocked, it has vibration currently on, it has the fingerprint uh, sensor on and normal mode. And of course you have your two uh, batteries on top, you have your voltage, your resistance, your seconds, and your puff counter. Um, let's go into it again, actually no, one, two, three, four, five, and that brings you this menu. If you press that it will turn off, or you can swipe for the other options. Not going to go through all the options, you got your econo mode, you got your you know, resetting your puff counter. Uh, you have your version information, all the same stuff. You have your screen colors that you can change. All right. Press the button, you jump back out of that. You have your brightness levels. You can lock and unlock. Uh, the timer for how long you can vape. Vibration mode on or off. Uh, what is that for? I forget. We'll look it up. We'll find out. Fingerprint sensor. You can go to fingerprint sensor. Now you have to enter your password in order to change the fingerprint. One, two, three, four, five, six fire um, and then you can say whether it's on or off it's currently on now if we go over to uh, this is the mode where you let's got to enter your password again oops oh this is to reset your password so uh, that now it's what asking me for a new password one two three four five one two three four five six it's actually six is a so I, that's just resetting your password which I just did to the same password 
Let's go back now to fingerprint. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now what you can do in here is I have three fingerprints programmed in here. They are all my thumb. And the reason is this is a thumb fire device is how you're going to really hold it. And when you find people that have, say that the fingerprint sensor is not very accurate. Well, this is a little tech tip. Whether you're doing it on this device or you're doing it on your smartphone, um, and it asks you to register multiple fingers, you can register register the same finger in each of those devices, uh, each of those saves or memories. Um, the re benefit of that is now it has more recorded patterns for the same finger. So even though it see, thinks it's three fingers, but it's really your thumb three times, um, you now have three times as many uh, scans of the thumb in there. So it's a lot more accurate for it to pick it up when you do it. So let's go ahead. If we go one, two, three, four, five, let's go the other way. Enter my password. Go in there. So if, let's say I delete this pat, this one. Delete fingerprint. Yes. All right now, let's say add that fingerprint. So the way it works is you're going to put your finger in different spots. You got to get a good scan. It doesn't like the edge of the finger. It likes seeing the whole finger. So it's programmed in there. So now if I one, one, two, three, four, five, and I press the power system off. One, two, three, four, five. Fingerprint. It knows it's the same battery still in there. And I put my finger there. It picks it up fine. And I have absolutely no problems doing it this way. The fingerprint uh, sensor has been working good. It doesn't pick up great if you went like that, like at an edge. But as long as you put your finger right in the middle, I've had no problems whatsoever. Fingerprint sensor, uh, very confident that it would work well. Why would you want the fingerprint sensor? Well, the whole idea is if you have this lying around in your house, uh, you can turn it off and you're not worried about one of your kids taking a quick vape uh, on here. You know, if you have teenagers or something and you think that they may be sneaking your vape, well, then, you know, this will prevent them from using it. Um, that's really the only use case I can think of. Obviously, if someone's going to steal it, they're going to steal it, and then they're going to, you know, do whatever they do. But, uh, yeah, so for that kind of a use, it is great. So I love the feel of this. Let's zoom back out. Out, not in. Uh, I love the feel of this. Uh, it really does feel nice. Um, it is definitely uh, a thumb-fired device that you would hold like this. Um, let's go ahead and take off that tank for a moment so you can see. Pin is very nice, uh, no problems whatsoever. I actually have a little scratch on mine, and that's my fault. I had a tank that I, a different tank I was using. I screwed it down so tight, I had to grab it with a pair of pliers to take it off, and that was my fault. And when I did, I, I, I gave a little scratch to the top of that. So, um, yeah, that was my fault. This is the standard Viento, Vento, Viento, Viento uh, tank that they've been giving lately. As modus on the side there, you have this little decorative piece that can be removed. Um, this is a standard sub ohm tank. Uh, find the arrow here, and it is a twist to unlock, and it is a O-ringed 810 drip tip. All right, so yeah, very nice, very happy with this so far. We'll talk more in detail about it when we go back up on top. For right now, let's get you all the specs, and then we'll go back and talk about it. Okay, now you saw the specs on that. Let's talk about one other thing that I didn't show you, and that is the docking station. Uh, yeah, you got a docking station for the three uh, for the Minikin 3 and S charging base. Look at that. So uses a micro USB. We go ahead and plug that in the side here. Place that down, and all you got to do, you can see the three connectors on the bottom. Place that on there, and you, I don't know if you can see that the screen came on, and it starts charging. Take it with you, and you're done. Uh, very nice. It just fits perfectly on their website. This is selling for fifteen dollars. Um, you know, for the charger with a micro USB cable, uh, you know, fifteen dollars is more than a fair price. I think that that's great. You may even see it cheaper elsewhere because that's on on Osmosis site. So really nice. Uh, it feels good. You know, it's solid. It, it's not you know cheap made. It feels like it's nice. You got the three pins on there. Um, yeah, you know, for those of you, I always recommend charging your batteries in an external charger. Even Osmosis on their website recommends charging your batteries in an external charger. Yet they are selling a docking station. So, uh, you know, I'm sure it works fine. I always think external chargers are designed for the purpose of charging. So that's why I would recommend that. But it does work. And that $15 list price on their website, I think that's that's more than fair. Very good deal. So there you go. All right. Let's go back up the top and talk about it. All right. So you see it up close. 
very nice device. Uh, I'm very happy with it. The fingerprint sensor, which of course is one of the things, the big things they're going to probably promote with this. That's up to you. Use it. Don't use it. If you don't care, if you don't think that's interesting, don't use it. Uh, but it does have that option. Um, it's been working perfectly for me. I've had no problems with the fingerprint sensor. Uh, I have tried it, of course, using other fingers in order to see that it is locking, and it does. Um, but, you know, it's easy enough these days. It's very simple technology to add fingerprint sensors into things, uh, as they did here, and it works good. I have no problems unlocking it. Nine out of ten times it unlocks on the first touch. Occasionally, one out of ten times, I did it once, then it vibrates, I did it again, it unlocks. All right, so no problems with that whatsoever. The rubberized finish. I like this material. I always do. I like this rubberized material. Uh, their logo is not, uh, you know, obnoxious looking. It's nice and quiet in the in the black there. Uh, you got the carbon fiber on there, which, you know, adds a little something to it. Definitely a thumb fire device, though. The way this is shaped, all right, it, it lends itself to firing it like this. It really would not be at all comfortable, in my opinion, to try and, and fire it like this at all. Uh, maybe left-handed. Left-handed, that would work, you know, as an index firing device. For right-handed, it's a thumb firing. And I like thumb firing devices. Um, I broke this finger once, so sometimes it hurts if I'm using it too much still. It never healed perfectly right. So thumb fired devices just uh, are, are more comfortable for me. Um, everything about this has been great. It is definitely a nice mod. The Viento tank. Uh, if you watched the last Minikin, uh, the A Mighty review came with the same tank. I'm not crazy about the coils in these tanks, at least not the single coils that came with it, so that's what I'm reviewing. The single coils, the single mesh coils that are in there, not my best, uh, my favorite uh, for taste. I'd rather take this tank off and put my own RTA on there, um, and I'm much more happy with that. So, um, if you have somebody like me, then you have tons of tanks. Uh, and you, I'm pretty sure they're selling this as just the device or the kit. Don't get the tank, you know, just get the device itself and enjoy it. Um, you know, if it's only a few dollars more and you get the tank with it, go ahead and get the tank. You know, it comes with two coils and, you know, there you go. Uh, but it's not my favorite tank. But the device itself has been working great. It's very comfortable in the hand. It's, it's an unusual shape because this is not, you know, the way this is shaped in a thumb fire device has not been done that I can remember in exactly the same way. It just definitely feels unique in the hand to me. I don't remember anything else feeling quite like this. Um, the, the fact that they put the carbon fiber, you know, this material is a little slippery, um, this rubberized kind of finish. It kind of gives you a grip and it's kind of slippery at the same time. It's hard to explain, but I like that the carbon fiber is over there. Carbon fiber actually is not as slippery as the rubberized material on the side. Um, so it does give you that little extra grip. And since that's where, you know, your three, I tend to put this underneath, but you know, whether it's three or four fingers on that side and then you're using your thumb to fire it, it just helps give you a nice grip on there. Battery door has been great. Fires quick, fires powerful. Uh, people ask about battery life. Battery life is what you get out of a dual 18650 device. I think the chipset in here, though, is very efficient. It does feel a little better than, you know, in terms of battery life than a lot of other things. Uh, I'm vaping this on 80 watts, so I'm basing it on that. And it does seem like the battery life is pretty good on here. The screen. The screen on this device is beautiful. Bright, clear. I don't know how well that will come across over there. It probably doesn't even want to focus for me. Um, but it is a beautiful, sharp, very sharp resolution, bright, clear screen. Uh, absolutely love that screen on there. Everything about this has been great. Definitely can recommend it. Um, yeah, everything about it's nice. Go with a different tank, but everything else about the device itself is wonderful. The docking station, that's up to you. If you want to use the docking station, like I said, I'm sure it works fine uh, and everything's good on there. Very fair price of $15 on their website. Um, you know, you'd be hard pressed to get, you know, a, a case for a cell phone for $15 these days. Um, so $15 for that charging dock is certainly a fair price on their website, probably be cheaper elsewhere. Um, yeah, wonderful device. Very happy with it. The Asmodus Minikin 3S. Thanks for watching. See you next time.